Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem two characters. In this challenge you will be given a string. You must remove characters until the string is made up of any two alternating characters. When you choose a character to remove all instances of that character must be removed. Your goal is to create the longest string possible that contains just two alternating letters. As an example consider the string a b a a c d a b d okay that's four letters unique if you delete the character a you will be left with a string b c d b d now removing the character c leaves you with the valid string b d b d having the length of four so this is the alternating characters we want removing either b or d at any point would not result in a valid string given a string yes Convert it to the longest possible string t made up of only alternating characters. Print the length of the string t on a new line. If no string t can be formed, print 0 instead. From the given string, we need to create a string with alternating characters. So for this, we need at least two unique characters and we need to create the longest possible string from the input string. So that is also our case. Let's see the constraints. Here the string length can go up to 1000 and all the characters will be in ASCII value from lowercase a to z so that won't be a problem. Length is also small we can produce a brute force solution for this. Let's see some examples. Here the character length is 10. We have these many characters. So the longest possible string is 5. The characters present in s or a b E, F. So there are four unique characters. This means the T must consist of two of those characters and we must delete two others. Our choices for characters to leave are and it displays all the possible combinations from the two characters. If we delete E and F, the resulting string is B, A, B, A, B. So that is the longest possible string. This is a valid T as there are only two distinct characters A and B and there are alternating within the string. While coding we need to satisfy both of the conditions that is two distinct characters and they should be alternating characters. And these are other possible combinations we have. After doing every possible cases this is the longest possible string we can get. Okay. Let's solve the problem now. Initialize max num equals count equals 0. Count will be for temporary counting and maximum is used to store the maximum possible length that can be formed. And next we need to create a character set that is alpha equals list of set of yes. So this will produce unique characters from the string. Produces unique characters. Now we need to find all combinations. Find all combinations of characters for i in range of length of alpha that is the unique characters we have and next for j in range of i plus 1 comma length of alpha. So these two loops will produce all possible combinations that we can get from the character set. Now we will create a temporary list L equals alpha of i comma alpha of j. So the list contains two characters we need to check. Next we need to find which of these two characters comes first in the string. If s dot index alpha of i less than s dot index alpha of j. So both will find the index and we can compare which character comes first in the string. So if the current condition satisfies index equals 0 
that means the first character comes first in the string else index equals 1 that means the second character comes first in the string now we need to check whether the character is alternating and increment the count check for alternate cache and increment count to iterate the characters for character in yes now we need to check whether the character is present in the character set we have created so that will be if character in the list that is the two characters and next we need to check for another condition if character equals l of index if the character is equal to the first index we will increment the count by one and change the index index equals index x of one so this will flip the index flip the index let's consider first the index is 0 0 xr 1 is 1 so the index will be changed and after that 1 xr 1 both the values are same so the result will be 0 0 will be stored to the index and it changed to the next index like this we can check for the alternating characters by changing the index now if the character is not the same that is the alternating character ends here in the else part change the count equals 0 and break the loop because it doesn't satisfy the alternating characters condition next if the loop runs successfully we need to store the maximum length to the maximum that will be maximum equals max of maximum comma count so after storing the maximum length we will change count to zero if the count doesn't go to the else part we need to change the count to zero this will store the maximum length now this is the whole logic of the program we are getting the two characters from the character set this condition checks which character comes first in the string so i will highlight this checks which character comes first in the string after finding the index we are iterating the characters from the string and checking whether the character is in the character set and after that again we need to check whether it is satisfies the index condition if it satisfies we will increment the count and change the index to check for the alternating character if the condition doesn't satisfy we will break the loop and we store the maximum count in the maxnum now we will return the maxnum return maxnum let's run the code it passed the sample test case let's submit it that's it guys we solved the problem if this video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos see you guys in the next video